so welcome everyone in this video we are going to see how to use keel microvision 4 software for writing programs for 8051 so to begin with we are going to use the keel microvision 4 software just click on the icon so this is the keel microvision software editor right now here some previous project is open so before beginning you have to close the uh, previously open project so click on project then close project so it will close the previously open project now for the new project you have to click on project then we have here option of new microvision project so click on that it will show a new window that is create new project now this uh, window can be used for uh, saving your project at a particular location so you can choose any of your drive and just uh, go to that drive make some folder of your name and you can save your project in that folder so I will make the new folder with the name test and in that folder I will save my project so let's say uh, the name of my project is first you don't have to give any extension here the extension is already present as .uvproj so just give file name and click on save once your project is saved another window will open saying that select device for target target 1 now in this uh, you have to select the controller which you are going to use so in our lab we are going to use controller which is uh, founded by NXP so click or uh, press N it will go to the NXP so select this NXP founded by Philips click on the plus sign near to that so it will show the number of controllers which are there uh, manufactured by NXP now the controller which we are going to use is P89V51 RD2 so this is the controller that is P89V51 RD2 so select this controller as soon as you click on this uh, IC name it will show the description of that IC here on the right side it is uh, having 40 megahertz frequency uh, 5 volts 8051 based controller and so on so all the features of that IC are available in this window so after clicking on this IC click on OK then another window will open saying that copy startup dot a51 to project folder and add a file to project click on no this file is particularly used whenever you are going to write your program in C language right now we are going to write the program in assembly language so no need of that startup file so now once you have created the project now you can start writing your program so for writing program you have to click on this new or go to file and new so a new blank window will open here now here you can start typing your program for example I will uh, write some a small program here
now I have written small program once you have written the program you have to save it so click on the save button after that a new window will open here you have to give a file name to the program which you have written this file name uh, may not be same as your project name you can give any other different name to your file for example I will give it as data now one thing here I the important thing is you have to give the extension to this file as dot asm since we have written the program in assembly language the extension must be dot asm after giving the file name click on save now once you have saved your program the mnemonics will change its uh, color uh, now the next thing is you have to click on this target plus sign in that it will show you a folder named source group 1 now you have to add this ASM file into this source group 1 so for doing that just right click on this uh, source group 1 folder and there is one option add files existing files to group source group 1 so click on this a new window will open here and the file of type you have to select here as ASM source file since we have written the program in ASM language now after clicking on this it will show your currently saved file the same file is available here so select this file and click on add and after that click on close so now you can see here that the data.asm file has been added to the source group 1 the next step is you have to build your project so for doing that click on this build button or you can use F7 key so after clicking on this you will get the uh, build output here in this output window now here there is one error in your program the error is shown in this output window now to remove this error or to find out the position of the error in your code just double click on this error so uh, once you double click on that error the cursor will go to that particular location where the there is any syntax problem right so right now I will remove this instruction and I will again save it and build it so now our program is free of errors it is showing zero errors and zero warnings now the next step is we have to debug our program for that you have to click on this debug button or you can go to this debug tab start stop debug session so once you click on this the software will go in the debug mode right. on the left side here you can see various resistors along with the accumulator B resistors stack pointer and so on there is also the program status word at the last now this window is the disassembly window here you can see the opcodes of all the instructions along with their mnemonics so for debugging we have options like reset run uh, step step over so you can use these uh, options for executing a single instruction at a time or if you want to run entire program then click on this run button right now we'll see step by its inst uh, execution of the instructions so once I click on this the first instruction will be executed so after execution of this instruction you can see that the accumulator value has changed the value here is 45 hex next if I 
click on this step button then next instruction will be executed that is the B register is now copied with the value which is present in A so this is the end of the program so this is how you can debug your program once you have debugged your program you can come out of the debug session or suppose if you want to check the uh, peripherals then there are different peripherals available in this debug window so some of them are the IO ports all the ports are here so you can use these uh, peripherals for checking the values on the ports of 8051 next we have serial channel this channel has all the SFRs related to serial communication so you can check the status of these resistors while uh, using serial communication similarly you have different timers timer 0 timer 1 so all the resistors uh, related to timer are present in this peripheral so these are some of the peripherals which are there available in this software next one more thing is available it is called as logic analyzer this logic analyzer is used for uh, checking the waveforms on particular port pins for that you just have to click on this logic analyzer button so a new window named as logic Win an analyzer will be opened now to check the waveform on any of the port pins the logic analyzer must be first of all set up so for setting up the logic analyzer click on this setup button once you click on that setup logic analyzer button a new window will be opened in this window click on this new insert once you click on that you will see a cursor here here you have to type the uh, name of the pin which you want to monitor for example port 1.0 so I want to monitor the waveform on this particular pin so type the name of that particular pin and hit enter now once you have uh, click hit on enter the port 1 will be available here so actually this is all all 8 bits will be uh, available there so if you want to uh, view a single port pin then just type P 2.5 for example so you will get P 2.5 here so this is how you can use logic analyzer for uh, viewing the waveforms and once you click on run whatever the waveforms are there on those pins those will appear in this logic analyzer so this is uh, use of the debug mode of the software now one more important thing is that once you have written your code in assembly language and you have to download that code on your microcontroller for that you will need a hex file that hex file can be generated by clicking on this target options so just click on this target options so a new window will open now there are a number of tabs out of those tabs click on the output tab here there is one option called as create hex file so just check this option and click on OK and after that you have to again rebuild your project so now here you can see the message creating hex file from first so a hex, hex file of your code has been generated with the name first so the place or the folder where you have saved your project in that folder you will get a file named as first.hex now this file can be used for downloading on your controller so this is a brief use of keel microvision 4 software
for writing programs for 8051 controller. Thank you.